dear students welcome to the problem solving session on ode type 4 if my right hand side is going to be e power ax into g of x so we learn type 1 type 2 type 3 type 1 is simply e power ax type 2 is sin or cos type 3 is polynomial now g of x has two possibilities it may be a function x power m that is polynomial or it may be sin bx or cos bx why i am saying bx here because we are using ax so it may be same or it may be different for example you may get e power 2x into sin 2x or e power x into sin 3x so that's why i am saying sin bx or cos bx okay let us go into the session how to solve type 4 we are going to see few problems in this session if your rhs is going to be e power ax into g of x now d is replaced by d plus a to remove this e power ax i am just doing d is replaced by d plus a when the function f of d is replaced by d plus a then i have to move this e power ax to the left hand side because its job is over this is known as exponential shift after this process you will be having in the right hand side x power m or cos bx or sin bx now if you have cos bx or sin bx it is going to be type 2 if you have a polynomial it is going to be type 3 we solve as usual okay that's it students let us go into the problem here my rhs is e power x into x square as we shall find the cf put d equal to m to get the auxiliary equation this equation looks like not a normal equation use the formula and find the roots the roots are 1 plus or minus i therefore my cf is e power x a cos x plus b sin x next we have to go for our pi so as we shall we write the pi with denominator now as i said let d equal to denominator let us assume this notations which is easy for us then d should be replaced by d plus a here the value of a is 1 so d should be replaced by d plus 1 therefore my denominator is equal to d plus 1 whole square minus 2 into d plus 1 plus 2 when i simplify this d square plus 2d plus 1 minus 2d minus 2 plus 2 so now minus 2 plus 2 get cancel 2d minus 2d get cancel we will be getting simply d square plus 1 we have this two terms let us see the type version we assume d equal to denominator and then simplifying this we'll be getting d square plus 1 now we have to push this e power x to the left hand side so 1 by d square plus 1 into x square now we have to proceed with type 3 okay for type 3 do you remember students i need a formula 1 minus or 1 plus x either power minus 1 or power minus 2 etc so i have to rewrite the denominator d square plus 1 i can rewrite it as 1 plus d square x square next we can take this to the numerator 1 plus d square whole power minus 1 we know the formula 1 plus x whole power minus 1 is 1 minus x plus x square minus x cube etc etc now before going to the problem as i said we have to know the weakness and strength of the problem so let us do this first what is d of x square because our function is given as x square what is d of x square 2x and d square of x square twice we differentiate we'll be getting 2 d cube of x square it is going to be 0 so after two terms it is getting 0 now let us apply this formula here okay now multiply this x square inside so using this formula just i am going to expand this we get 1 minus d square plus d square whole square etc etc now from this i can easily say after d cube everything is zero so d power 4 is going to be zero and all the terms after this is going to be zero so only two term exist that is e power x 1 minus d square x square when you simplify this e power x x square minus d square of x square we know that d square of x square is simply 2 so the answer is 
e power x into x square minus 2. Therefore, we write the final solution y is equal to cf plus pi. That's it students. Now let us go into one more problem uh, with my g of x should be some sin bx or cos bx. So let us take a simple problem d square plus 4d plus 3 into y is equal to e power minus x sin x. As usual, we do the cf by making the right hand side homogeneous, putting d equal to m, the axillary equation, and we get the roots minus 1, minus 3. Therefore, my cf is going to be a e power minus x, b e power minus 3x. Let us go into the pi. As usual, assume that dr is equal to denominator, d should be replaced by d plus a when we have e power ax into g of x. It is called as exponential shift. So, d should be replaced by d minus 1 because we have a value minus 1. Now, substitute d is equal to d minus 1 in the denominator d minus 1 whole square plus 4 into d minus 1 plus 3. Expanding this, d square minus 2d plus 1 plus 4d minus 4 plus 3. So, now, Simplifying this, we can get d square plus 2d. Now, I have to take the e power minus x to the left hand side and in the denominator I will write d square plus 2d sin x. Now, it became a normal problem. That is, my RHS is simply now sin x because e power job is over. So, what I do? d square should be replaced by minus a square. Here, a value is 1. So, d square is replaced by minus a square. So, d square is minus 1. When I substitute in the denominator, we will be getting 2d minus 1. I will write my pi like this. e power minus x, 1 by 2d minus 1 sin x. So, we know what to do. We have to take the conjugate by 2d plus 1. By multiplying 2d plus 1 and dividing by 2d plus 1, we get this following. Now, e power minus x, the denominator will become 4d square minus 1 because we know a minus b into a plus b is going to be a square minus b square. And then the numerator is just remains 2d plus 1 into sin x. Now we go for the denominator dr. The 4 into d square is minus 1, minus 1. So minus 5 which is not equal to 0. Next, substituting this, now we have to simplify this. 2 into d of sin x plus sin x. We have e power minus x by minus 5. d of sin x is differentiation of sin x. That is going to be cos x, then plus sin x. Now, my pi gets over. Now, I have to substitute this. y is equal to cf plus pi. Therefore, y is equal to a e power minus x plus b e power minus 3x minus e power minus x by 5 into 2 cos x plus sin x. I hope from the above two problems which is solved, you will be having 100% confidence to face any problems in the exams. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our channel and share to your friends. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.